impaired driving, people watching YouTube videos when they're driving, the person I had watching adult videos while they're driving, um, all different uh, people driving with their with their seatbelts on and having their kids jump around the back seat of their car. Um, those are the big ones that always kind of bugged me quite a bit. Have you ever let anyone off with a warning? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there's there's quite a few people. Like, I know I tweet out and I've written a lot of tickets, but that could have been a lot more. Um, I don't want to say what different people have done to get um, warnings, but my first year in traffic, I gave someone a warning because they used the they were crying and were upset, said that their family just passed away from cancer, all that type of stuff. So I was like, okay, well, I'll give you a break. I don't want to be a jerk. And then someone I know knew that person on Facebook and they bragged about it on Facebook saying, I got away with this. I lied to the police officer. The tear thing worked. I'm a lot more cautious when I give up warnings because the people may be being on, like maybe lying about what they're actually trying to say to get away with the warning. So, but how many tickets have you written in 2019? As of yesterday, I was at 1,400 cell phone tickets and 1,900 tickets total for the year. So when it comes to repeat offenders, have you run into some people over and over and they have the, oh, you again, but you're like, oh, you again. Yeah, I had a gentleman last week who I tweeted about him earlier this year because it was the third time I got him on a cell phone. And last week, it was the fourth time I caught him on a cell phone since April 2018. So he got another cell phone ticket. And when I got to his window, he now is familiar with me enough where he actually said, oh, it's Hawkeye. So that made me kind of laugh, but he got a cell phone ticket, got his vehicle impounded for seven days. This is the second one in 12 months. He also had outstanding traffic and criminal code warrants, went to jail. And on his way to jail, he was telling me how he can't seem to catch a break because earlier that day, he got caught speeding like 50 over the speed limit on the highway. So he got a 900, almost a $900 ticket then and got another vehicle impounded just earlier that day. When you're not on duty, what do you do when you see people breaking the law and on their cell phones? Now, I'll be honest, that's one of the reasons why I applied to come to traffic the first time. I remember in my job interview, that's one of the points I brought up saying, when I'm on days off, like if, if I see something as a police officer, you need to act, but then you can call someone and come there. But the thing that drove me the crazy the most is seeing people talk on their cell phones, seeing people speeding, and that drove me crazy on my days off. So that's why I came to traffic. And right now, if it's something severe, I'll call the triple seven six five hundred to have someone dispatched and I can give a statement to it or if it's something that's not pressing and immediate I can come in and actually provide a statement and one of my coworkers or someone on another shift can go and issue that person a ticket. Are you going to create your own Twitter account now that you're giving this one up? Yeah I actually I got notification about a month ago that Superintendent Davies had approved me to have a Twitter account for patrol. Um, so I'm very excited for that. It's very different. We're dealing with a lot more, I'm not saying that traffic offenses aren't serious, but putting kind of funny gifts on there for just a cell phone ticket is different as opposed to dealing with mental health issues, domestic violence and drug and alcohol addiction issues. So obviously it's going to be very different, but I'll still have times where I'm going to be pulling people over and dealing with different things. I can still kind of have fun with it, but it's gonna be a lot more educational and kind of just letting people know what it is. But this account will still remain with traffic. So Constable Jim Monahan. Um, um, has agreed to take it over next year. So I can't say he'll be right at the transfer date because he'll have to get kind of the media training and get his work phone issued to him and stuff like that, but he'll be taking over in the new year. And when you went through police college, have any inkling that this was going to be how your career went? Not at all. It's been a very enjoyable year. I've seriously enjoyed all the different people from the media that I've been able to chat with and spread the message of like driving safely, not driving distracted, all that stuff. Doing the Twitter thing, it's it's been a lot of fun. It was, it's, I've, gotten comfortable with it and now I'm actually probably going to miss it quite a bit next year because they'll be on to gym to do that stuff.